energetically has been glitchy for sure with the technology, but it's important that you guys are here because there's, you know, there's things to go over. There's things that we all need to know. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it back over to you, Micah. All right. Well, I'm going to introduce you um, because Tracy has been a friend of mine for, oh gosh, more than a decade now. Uh, We, we separated for life for a little bit, but we have come back together. She is one of my mentors. She is a personal coach of mine and dear friend. Uh, She is a coach herself, obviously, otherwise she wouldn't be my coach, Uh, but she has her own group called Renegade Mentors, and that's what she is, is a Renegade Mentor. And she has been a spotlight on, what's that program? Balance Your Life on News 12 Plus. Mm-hmm. News 12. And was it two times that you've been on that program, or was it two times yeah. that you've been co-author? Both. And Both. and my most recent is I was featured in She Exists magazine, and I was on the red carpet event in Vegas. And then I, I just saw the back pictures out to and Vegas. I was so jealous. And oh, let me tell you, <laughs> she she looked even more amazing then than she looks now, and she always looks beautiful. So the check it out. Uh, the book that you can that you can look up is Everyday Woman's Trilogy, and you can get that on Amazon. And she was a co-author in that. I'm sure that the other writers in that series are just also amazing women as well. To to tap into tonight we're going to tap into you a little bit so that we can get a little bit more about what is what is this thought as vibration for me and then i'm gonna gonna throw it over your way for me thought is vibration if you think about it whenever we have a thought there is something that happens there is a reaction to that thought if we grab onto it right Now, the thought is just a wave that occurs because our brains are constantly in motion. Yeah. And they're constantly flaring off. So whenever we have a thought, if we grab onto it and we decide that we want to latch onto it and respond to it, it creates a vibration. And if we just think about it, now here's the crazy thing. You can just think about Mm -hmm. something, anything, and it creates a ripple effect outwards from you but this is what we do every day all day with all of our thoughts and that's the rub is where most people don't realize all of your thoughts have a vibration so when as you were speaking about grabbing onto that one that's a focused intention that's where you can start to co-create into a vibrational alignment but folks know your thoughts always have a frequency period even in your dreams. Yes. And so that's a good point you brought up in your dreams because our subconscious mind tends to process when we're dreaming. And that's why we'll have certain dreams. We're like, what did that mean? What is that? It's working through things during your sleep, which mm-hmm. is sometimes a good thing because we're, we don't want to dive into everything all at once, all the time into our psyche, but we do need to move forward. So To bring it short and simple real quick is if you see somebody that's negative, they have things going wrong in their life. But now if you take somebody that's aware of their thoughts and their vibration, even when things are going wrong, they're staying positive. And that's how you can shift to go create into things. So I I definitely want to pull forward. Times are a little bit crazy. Earth is crazy. The world is crazy. The galaxies are crazy, the spiritual warfare, whatever. There's things going on, period. But we still have to run already. Yeah, Yeah. you and I have joked back and forth that we we swear that the jinn have taken over the universe when it comes to manifesting lately. It's like it almost has a sense of humor, but at the same time, it's throwing things back at us to give us the opportunity to wake up. Exactly. The opportunity to wake up and... You know, I've heard this said many a times, whether I don't care if you're spiritual or religious or not, where people are like, you know, your guides will utilize darker forces when we're not paying attention to come smack us. It's like the energetic punch to the face. It's like, 
I did I get your attention now? And I'm not immune from this. I've been teaching this for 15 years. I coach my high end people and I shattered my leg and my wrist two years ago because I was hearing it, not listening. And boy, did they knock me on my ass, right? They'll do that. Yeah, they will. So this is why I want to come on here with Micah and discuss that it's super important to become mindful of where your thoughts are going. Now, do you have to monitor every thought? No, because we have a million and one thoughts every day. However, I do want you to check in with your personal frequency. And are you on the positive side or on the negative? And, and I'm going to be a little bit in your face about that because, you know, after all, I am the renegade mentor. So I do not tiptoe through the tulips. I'm going to no. bulldoze through the bushes. Here we go. Okay. So, you <laughs> may be for me. Uh, she yeah. did it for me and she'll do it again. That's why I get results, right? Yeah. But so when people are like, oh, yeah, I'm positive. No, you're not because I can pick it up in your vibration. I can, I can just look at you because that's what I'm trained to do. And I'm intuitive. And I'm trained and I've spent a boatload of money on figuring this out. I can pick it up. So I'm going to, again, be very forward with saying, are you and have you checked yourself? Right. And that's a little bit of like, a, oof. but I'm doing that and pointing that out because that's where the magic is found within. We want to go find your hidden treasures. Right. So this is where. I work very quick and I'm in your face. And this is what I'm training Micah to do. Go pinpoint the pieces. We're not psychiatrists and they have their place, but however, we're not going to be like, okay, how are you feeling? I don't care how you feeling. Wake up. Let's go. Right. <laughs> so, and I get a little passionate about this people. So welcome to my world anyway. So we want you feeling into are you hiding behind a mask? Are you fooling yourself? I I go cool. over that's the, all you're fooling. Is yourself exactly. Honestly. So this is why I'm loud and I'm abrupt because it's a pattern interrupt to call you out and get you to pay attention. Right? Because it's okay, right? I work with high level business women and entrepreneurs and they're like me, they're tough. You want to talk about breaking through a wall because that's what we do as humans. We we don't want to, nothing, first of all, nothing's wrong with anybody. This is human nature, right? Exactly. But we don't want to feel like we're doing something wrong because God knows I hate it. I'm in business. I hire, I have a team of people. And when they pop up saying you're doing this wrong, I twitch, I get it, I feel it. So I'm like, well, then you take it over and do it, <laughs> right? So Ah, breathe into, ah, have I been playing full out? Probably not. Because you've been kind of probably walking through, should I? What are people going to think? I, don't, I feel you. I get it. I have built a six-figure business kind of being hidden, honestly. And my team of people are like, no more. Don't care what you think, what other people think. So I go through it too. So I have people running my accounts and my social media. So everything that's coming up is everything that I've been putting together, but I have a team of people orchestrating it now, right? Because that's part of where I'm like, oh God, that's uncomfortable. So there's a time to push through when we're uncomfortable. And there's a time not to push into resistance because you're blocking yourself. And this is the energetic of the thoughts and vibration, because we can go off into a million different avenues, can't we? Oh, but when we can 100%. become mindful, you know, you and I have been going through it this past week because I've got my stuff going on and you're going through yours. Yeah. And right now, I mean, with the way that the world is shifting energetically, our thoughts are becoming more powerful than ever. I oh, know that that completely. sounds you know, fantastical, like, you know, you would see in a movie, like our thoughts are just expanding and the, and the energetics behind them are, but it's mm -hmm. true. Yeah. When you have a thought continuously over and over and over again in varying forms, 
This is always the way it's going to be. It never changes. Well, guess what? You are manifesting that in a ripple effect yes. outward. So mm -hmm. that you are succeeding. So guess what? Congratulations. You are succeeding. You are winning yep. at those thoughts. Yes. yes. Completely. It's powerful, right? So when we're working on our own vibration, we have to watch the ripple effect coming out from us and also ripple effects coming in from other people. <laughs> 100% too. Right? Because that goes both ways as well. The energies are so fast moving right now. It's like stop and start, stop and start, stop and start, which means it's like, all right, moving forward, moving forward, but bam, something comes in and knock you off track. And it's been constant. So what we're experiencing as us coaches, I'm noticing is the we're maneuvering through the weeds. Like, it's like, oh, you're coming at me? Okay, duck now and keep going. Okay, duck, keep going. We cannot <laughs> stop. We have, But that's exactly how it's coming up. And it's like, some days I feel like Wonder Woman with the things. I'm like, oof, deflect that, deflect that, deflect that. So it's very important in your thoughts and vibration because everything that we have been taught and trained on how to ground and protect has shifted. So- it's coming from our heart space mm -hmm. and knowing that, okay, I am running my race, I'm co-creating and we're energetically expanding our heart chakra to put a shield of protection around us. So that means we're not even thinking about it. We can see what's coming. Sometimes by surprise, things will come in, but we are still moving forward through the energetic worldly chaos or whatever moon cycle is going on or solar flares or what have you. There's a lot energetically going on. It's also affecting and glitching big time, the electronics. This has been going on for days in all of my meetings. Mm -hmm. There's something going on somewhere. You, <laughs> I mean, they're really messing the with two, everything. If you compare the two, the, the human brain and a computer, there's not much difference. Right. I mean, yeah. we actually have crystals yes. in yeah. our brain. Yeah. Same. And there are crystals in your computer. So yes. why would there be a difference? Why so that's the be upgrade. A so we need to pay attention to the upgrade, right? So this is why I work with clients is to keep them optimal, keep them energetically aligned because they want to produce and make more money, right? Now it's like you with your clients, something's off in the life. Where are they off? So all this that we're talking about is fine and well and great, but what are you going to do with the information moving forward, right? This is where you and I as coaches love to step in and guide people through our years of expertise to help people optimally come into alignment and why, because it's a process going to shift the vibration and hitting the cellular level, the past lives, all of it comes in. Yep. And to throw in a, a metaphor for all of that real quick that just came to mind, this year is election year. And every year yeah. after we get a new president, new senator, new congressman, mm -hmm. if we are one of those people that don't vote, that we don't put our voice out, but complain afterwards, it is yeah. literally just like, Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I am uncomfortable with this situation. I hate where I'm at. I don't like this. I don't like that. But I'm going to sit on my duff and I'm not going to do a thing about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're not willing, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter if you work with a coach or not, but if you're right. not willing, yes, out. Bingo. Bingo. I literally just had this conversation with one of my coaches. Are you willing? to do the work because that's how I interview potential clients. You just don't hit a button and sign in with me. Mm -hmm. I interview, right? Because I've been doing this way too long and you're not going to hide your energy from me. So if you're not willing, I won't take you on because you'll drag down my energy, right? So are you willing to change? Like what's in your life that's bothering you so much that are you ready to change? Are you ready to dive in with somebody and say, help me with this? 
that's the key. Are you willing to, because nothing changes if nothing changes. So it's fun with where we're at now is things move quicker. So we don't have to do the deep dive hard work, but yes, we do tap into like for me, my, my inner wounded child from three years old came up for me and I do this for a living where I'm not immune from it. Right. But some stuff got, it was time. It was time for it to come up Mm -hmm. and it did. And it's like, Oh my God, there it is. I get it. And I could piece it all together. Right. So as coaches, and even though we do this, this is why a coach should have a coach. This is why I work with Micah. This is why I have, I actually have three coaches because I work at such a higher level. I need it. Right. Because I also need somebody that I can trust to call me out because I, that I have to feel their vibration. I have to know that I know that they know what they're talking about because I do do this for a living. Right. <laughs> so and just so everybody knows there is a little bit of give and take because there are times that she's kicked my butt and there's been times that I'm like, Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> we, to go, we need to, we need it. It gets it. We get caught up in our stuff yeah. and we hit this like boiling point and that bubble's got to pop. Like I was going through that this afternoon because the energies of the past week have really been knocking me out. And I'm like, oh, let's go. <laughs> Had it off. Move that. <laughs> so we do. And where, where you renegade kick people's butts, I'm mm-hmm. more of, okay, I want you to let this mm-hmm. out, give you feedback afterwards. Yeah. And meanwhile, yeah. And this is what, and you don't have to do any crazy signals and, and whatnots. Blessings mm-hmm. to the masters who have gone through that. Mm-hmm. But in the background, I'm sitting there and I'm poking and pulling and adjusting and mm-hmm. doing this, that, and the other thing. You don't see a thing, but mm-hmm. you just feel relaxed a little bit more and able to yeah. emphasize. That's perfect. Is. I love it's that. Naturally feeling. So when, when you do that work and you're coming in naturally, you're going to be hit with some emotions, right? But you walk them through it like th- you're gentle with that. I'll come in and how, and then I'll be like, okay, now we're there. It is because my it's my clientele. I draw on who I am, right? So that is necessary for my clientele. But then I walk them through it. So your approach, like you draw in on your vibration. So yeah, you definitely set the stage of okay, but you're not also going to let people put their mask up and like skirt around Uh you. Nope. I was talking to a client earlier today. And one of the things that the images that I was presented with was a young child in a skirt, just dancing around while all of this information was coming out. And it had, it was leading up to what the issues were that we were working Mm -hmm. through but it was literally like a small child dancing around the issue going i'm not going to really pay attention to what's going on and all of these other things are just going to get in the way of what it is and that's something that all of us do and we enjoy doing that because it's comfortable yes it is right and that's the piece that i want to bring up is that yes things are going to be uncomfortable and that's okay because the second we can surrender to that is where you're going to find your treasures and as coaches that's where we're there to support and guide you energetically to say it's okay it's i know you're uncomfortable but it's going to be great so people are finally getting in here so um alexis and hold Hildy? Yes, Hildy. Okay. So I see them coming up in the chat. I'm not sure exactly when they got on here. Welcome, guys. So whatever was missed, you should be able to catch a replay or a recording on. Yep. So it because we're just rolling with it. So with the hiccups, with the technical glitches, this is a prime example of keep going. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Right. Because that's I will admit, what you, okay, and energy want. Just to continue on with this thought, I will admit that I felt 
because when I people who know me personally know that when I get overstimulated, mm -hmm. my brain starts to shut down. Me too. And my me emotions too. just start to amp up. Yeah. yeah. And I felt that happening. It's like, no. Yeah. Good job. That's why I was like, I'll be back in yeah. five minutes. Yep. <laughs> We're going to show up and talk to you, come hell or high water. <laughs> Somehow, some way. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> yep. It's important. It, it's really important because this is given an opportunity for people to say, there's nothing wrong with you. If you've been feeling off, there's a reason because there is so much going on energetically around us all the time plus our subconscious being tripped up, old belief patterns. And of course it makes us feel a certain way. And that's where you and I come in to help them and we maneuver through and it's like, nope, we need to unwrap that and upgrade it, upgrade the frequencies. Yeah. And it's so important now, especially if anybody wants to up level in life or in business, personal relationships, it's going to take something, right? So, and it hundred percent doesn't mean that we're fixing anybody. No, we are we simply can. here to bring awareness, and it opens up channels for you, and it shifts your frequency. So we're just here to empower you to find yourself, but we're trained to guide you through it. That's the difference. So you get fast results. You have to do and the walk. Shift. What's that? But you have to do the walking. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah, we can lead you to the thresholds. You have to step over it. Can lead a human to water, but you can't force them to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It exactly. makes two on purpose. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, no <laughs> doubt, I love it. I have so many thoughts around that, but I'll, I'll keep it friendly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting everybody's popping in now um yeah so all right guys so everybody that's coming in it's so funny again energetically was really trying to prevent this is what i'm noticing this is why this work is vital i notice when we are going to present or bring something that will up level the collective consciousness we're getting resistance, mad resistance, right? Oh, yeah. The people, like we've been finally talking for about 20 minutes now, and people are finally just finding us, right? But so it's good. So we got to spew out what we needed to, and here we are. Ha, huh. we won. This is what we're doing. Moving yeah. on. So it's like those dark energies, ping it out. It's like those little gremlins. Move on, mm -hmm. move on. But this is how back and forth the energies are with this gremlin energy versus our soul self we are truly being tested to authentically shine from our soul essence period but man are we getting tested but it yeah. doesn't always have to be that way but right now coming off this full moon was a little wicked so if you're yeah, ready to up level yeah it. everyone really but this is where the knowledge that we have is so important if you want to fast track your life if you want to shift if you want to move because it's a journey now isn't it <laughs> pack a lunch not easy for anyone not only coaches. exactly mm -hmm. <laughs> we all have things that we go through and yeah. we all need to we all need that little push we all need that little <laughs> distance from time to so time so my guides my guides channel so so I'm a bit of a, you know, sassy, smarty pants, right? So, so are my guides. I know you're like, not you, but you know, I got a clue in everybody else. So as you were saying that, I just chuckled because my guides gave me an image of you standing on a cliff and they came up and they went, poof, and they pushed you off. So it's like, okay, yeah, you're not ready for a shift. Okay. Poof, they just yeah. like it's like go time like they're not kidding but they're laughing as you're like stumbling down the cliff but it's like you'll be fine you'll fly Just pay attention <laughs> and mine have been like find your what yeah so much in the last month has happened to me personally some of it i caused mm -hmm. accidentally mm -hmm. who knows that's who the cares? default it's frequency happened. 
That was your default frequency. Exactly. But going into a panic, but at the same time, it was, okay, time to pay attention. The what? Yeah. The first incident provided me the opportunity to plant a seed, which now Saturday, you're going to get part two of. Yes. Had that first incident not happened, Phoenix Talks would not exist. Mm, perfect. See? Okay. That was just the first one. The second one opened up to someone who knows a lot of people and have a conversation because somebody randomly That's picked a business sorry. part up of mine that they wouldn't have picked up had incident two happened. See? There's and always a single lining. thing. And and we're almost taught not to look at a silver lining because, oh, well, that's just supposed to make me feel better. Shush. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Shush. Okay. Stop that line of thinking. Don't shame mm -hmm. yourself. Don't shoot yourself because you're having that feeling that having that thought. Yeah. Because finding the what is not mm -hmm. a silver lining. It's looking because it's not always pretty. Right. No, we it's not. These yeah. were pretty. Okay, but it's not always pretty. And no. this came at a cost, which will have to be caught up. Fine. Thank you. So that's a valid point right there. It came at a cost, right? So when we are not paying attention to spirit, you're either going to pay financially or physically. I've been through both, right? Shattered my leg and my wrist. I didn't walk for four months and then it was wheelchair walker cane and it took me 18 months in therapy to get back to walking. So there was a there was a price tag on that and then physical recovery. So pay attention and do the inner work that and you know, you guys know you have nudges of what is off or what you want to change or what you want to work on, you know, do not ignore yourself. And for God's sake, right now, don't say you need a break. No, that, that's how I broke my leg. I said it about 40 minutes before I, I broke it. So for me, I mean, look, I'm two years, about over two years from that accident. But now looking back, I needed a break from life, right? I should have worded it differently, but it gave me the opportunity to evaluate what was I holding on to? Who was I trying to people please? What business connections weren't working that I should have let go a long time of? And it was just, it was so massive. And then the more I spent time on working on myself, it also went back to my generational lineage on my mom's side. And I was like, oh, wow. There it is. I'm like, hmm. So trust me, you don't want to be stubborn like I am <laughs> because you're you'll pay. And we don't we don't want to do I pays right now. It's like, okay, I'm listening, universe, guides, whomever, and I am open to possibilities. Show me the way. But you know the great thing is that a lot of people that are gonna see this and mm -hmm. that work with you or work with me, they're all mm -hmm. stubborn. And but you know what yeah. is it greater about that? Mm -hmm. Humans. Yeah, you're stubborn. Completely. Mm -hmm. So if if you're feeling like you're stubborn, okay, good. You're human. Yes, good. And if you're feeling like you're stubborn, that means you're super close to a breakthrough. Or you're being stubborn. <laughs> it is right. I'm laughing at because Carrie just said shush you in the comments. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. See. So this is the golden realm of why we're showing up to really bring this awareness. And I, I don't know, I love, and I know you do, is guiding people through this faster than it's taken us on our journey, right? 100%. And that's why I started coaching way back in the day was because I had my own life things going on and I lost myself completely that I didn't even recognize my own face in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And that was a defining moment because I stopped in my tracks and I was like, wow, who else feels this way? And how can I help them move through it quicker than it's taken me? And yeah. then that started my coaching journey, right? 
uh, one of the things that I've discovered, and I say it often, people hear me say it all the time, that you can change your mind like that. Mm -hmm. It takes the rest of you a while to catch up. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> you can change your mind that you, I'm going to quit smoking today. Yeah. And your body says, nope. Yeah, exactly. But so <laughs> where do you surrender? And that's the thing is how bad do you want to change? Because you can't change what you don't know you need to change because you don't know. And this is why we do this work. Mm -hmm. so it's okay to invest in yourself, right? But you know what? I, I just learned this recently and, and I, th I feel it needs to be said. If you're uncomfortable, you being general, you, anyone, if mm -hmm. you're comfortable with where you're at, with how your life is, okay, fine. Right. Blessings. God bless, right? I don't know there, many there, people that there, there's are. All the love. There, yeah. There's all the love to you. If Absolutely. you are comfortable with how your right. life is. Absolutely. If you're not, and you're complaining about it, again. Bingo. <laughs> yes. Because you're just going to bring more of mm -hmm. that to you. Completely. <laughs> we know that, don't we, right? 100%. Yeah. But if you're willing to address what's inside. Yes, completely. Base it genuinely authentically so that what yeah. lies inside all of us can blossom and it's so so many different levels there are some that and i and i fully believe this that we are all born with that link to universal wisdom we mm -hmm. all have it how many yeah. times are you walking along and you see something and it sparks something? How, right. how often do you watch a movie and you're like, well, I wasn't really in the mood to watch that, but oh, that's why. Right. How many yeah. Times do you have those wisdom Love moments, it. those aha breakthroughs. Yes, 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 yes. I love yeah. following the breadcrumb trail of signs for sure. Right. And mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing, and we all have that. Now, when you're looking for that extra help, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. To help draw that out, we can energetically dust you off. Yes. Reset a little bit, tweak mm -hmm. you there. Mm -hmm. And we're both good at it. Yeah. So this is not one and done. No. This is not one and done. It takes a minimum of eight weeks for these shifts to calibrate within you. So your neural pathways in your brain start to fire to a different response as well. So it becomes lasting change that you walk in and step into. So and, and you gotta do the work, go unknown. get it. Yeah. There's an unknown for, because yeah. we can help you do it. Well, mm -hmm. we, I start off with doing it for, Right. Oh, I do. As a well. lot of coaches do that yeah. where, where we start off with, especially if we work with energies, where we right. do it for, and then mm -hmm. we start back off with a little bit of guidance. Mm -hmm. But in order for it to really stick, it's after we back off that it takes a little bit longer to yeah. put it in practice. Yeah. To check in with ourselves. It's us. And this is the process that. You cannot go into woe is me and then try to walk yourself in circles because I've had clients do that. And I'm like, you're not ready for this. And I have to boot them out because all it does is energetically drain and we don't look good and they're just still complaining. So this is where I'm talking about taking ownership. How bad do you want to change? How bad do you want to evolve? How bad do you want to go co-create? How bad do you want to manifest certain things in your life? Exactly. It takes guidance. And that's that's when you surrender to that, being uncomfortable, but seek that help and the guidance, that is when it was a game changer for me when I started doing that. So I think every coach should keep a coach and it's just vital, right? We don't claim to know it all, but we were called to do this work, period. Right. So 
if we don't show up and do this work, we're going to pay a price. It's just trying to get people to be called to, are you ready for a shift? Do you want to do this? It's time. And if it's not, you can circle back around, but right. Yeah. And you know, it's crazy when we're out shopping or scrolling through Amazon mm -hmm. or Temu, which is actually how it's pronounced. <laughs> yeah, I'm so bad. I'm like, Timu. <laughs> yeah. But when we're scrolling through that and we're looking at things, we're like, oh, I really want that. Oh, I really, oh, I got to get that. Oh, oh. And we, we get excited about things that we want to get. Mm -hmm. Now, we have the same exact opposite feeling <laughs> when to stepping out of our comfort zone. Oh, yeah. I know I need this, but I'm right. not going to do anything about it. Now, that thing, that, that shiny thing that you see <laughs> yeah. on Amazon yep. or at Walmart or wherever <laughs> you go, Mm -hmm. that you just want yes do you or don't you find a way to get it yeah i just did this last week <laughs> yep that's partially why i brought it up because it's a perfect example mm -hmm. of yeah. if we really want something if we are willing you find a way make a way you find a way but if you <laughs> also trust in that and you spend on something it's because universe i am worthy and you don't fret about the money, the money comes right back in and replace it. Yep. Without a doubt. I can't wait for spring. <laughs> oh, I new going on I know my I'm gonna be visiting. I know I'm gonna be yeah, visiting. Yeah, you will. Like, You've gotta come see it. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. <laughs> I've wanted this for years. So yeah. I totally can't wait. Yeah, you know, so many times we want to feel better. We want yes. to change feeling like we're just stuck down yes. by this negative feeling that we just carry around with us, not knowing and going into Freudian, oh, it's in your childhood <laughs> mindset. And sometimes, <laughs> yes, that's 100% right. But mm -hmm. anybody watching this, here's where I'm going to get a little graphic. You're grown ass adults. Yeah. You can't blame your child anymore. <laughs> nope. but you can. Yeah. Bring it love, compassion, and let it know. Let that inner yeah. child go. Yeah. And this is stuff that you think about. It is. I know. It, it just hit me. Somebody had the thought of, this isn't thought as vibration. Yes, it is. It is completely, completely. <laughs> right? Because it, it's the, I'm glad you brought up the inner child, right? Because all of us, I don't care what our childhood traumas, issues, belief patterns are lately. I've noticed it all comes back to feeling safe. Mm -hmm. There was all a point in time where we did not feel safe, period. It's whatever, whatever it was around, I'm not sure, but there, there's those moments, right? So it's upgrading that. And that was like when my inner child wound came up this week. And I was like, oh, I didn't feel safe, but that was a moment when I felt safe in a situation, which I trace back to certain patterns now. And it was that huge aha of like, oh my God, I can see it deeper. Yeah, yes, just yesterday, I did a collective reading in the group. And one of the cards that came up, actually the first card that came up, which was perfect for today, was the Time Master. Oh, interesting. And one of the things that it said and that, that it brought forward is you can be a master of your timeline. Yes. And mm -hmm. when we're thinking about changing the past, guess what? The actual event, we can't change. The memory of the yeah. event, we can't change. Correct. But we can change the past. And yep. that never occurred to me that directly until yesterday. This is how quickly things happen. I agree. I've been feeling the fast pace myself. But when you learn that you can change the past as to how it's affecting the now. Yes. And you stop trying to change a future that hasn't been written yet. That's it. You 
make those adjustments mm-hmm. sometimes requires guidance yes but you make those adjustments you're already writing the future that you want that's it perfect so let me ask you how long is your program my program is eight weeks perfect and what's that container look like when how do you meet with people how do you serve how do you show up um when i meet with people it's either in person if they're local I'll meet them on Messenger or Zoom. I prefer Zoom because I can record it and send it to mm-hmm. them. So they can review it and say and hear what it was because sometimes, and I don't take notes, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we don't do that, yeah. No, I some uh, if you've been watching, I talk so fast and things come in so fast that I can't keep up and I have to filter exactly. it out to make room yeah. for the next. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. I don't guarantee that you're going to tell me something and I'm going to remember it next time, which is why I prefer to record it. Um, Good idea. I've never met with somebody before and it's the first time that I'm literally meeting them one-on-one in person or via Zoom. I like to do a reading, a full reading, where it's a combination of tarot, intuitive, energetic. I look at the, the chakras. I open up, connect with them and see where in the body they're holding things. Amazing. That And that I pick up on. And that's where our baseline begins. Perfect. If they've worked with me before, Mm -hmm. that doesn't happen. Then we just start, okay, how are you today? And this is pretty much how every conversation that we have. Exactly. It's very much like this conversation. It just builds organically. I would say that I want to build a program where it's, we're gonna do this, this week, this, this week, this, this week, and we'll just follow it and do the tick marks. Now, what kind of pressure is that gonna put on you to complete from week to week? So it's going to build organically and Mm -hmm. it'll be more of how your thoughts are affecting, focusing in on the, the three principles of universal mind consciousness and thought and learning that a little bit more without direct teaching that's the fun part yes if there's any it's literally pay attention to what we talked about this week yes and notice that progression until the next that's exactly it so it's an hour each an hour long each week so you're still one-on-one with people? Yes. Okay. So I hear little birdie tell me you've got a kick-ass, nice, sweet deal going on right now. So why don't you share that? It is. It is a sweet deal. Um, right now, and I'm, you are, little birdie didn't hear this, but right now, you have your choice. You can do four sessions over the course of eight weeks about every other week and you can do that $500. Oh, nice. Which is about 125 a session, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you want those eight weeks every week with me, it's 800. Oh my God. That's a steal. That's it. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's charging that for one. Oh, yeah, that's about where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> and yeah, you might want to jump am. on that this, deal. This isn't a question anymore. Coming mm-hmm. this fall, I'm not settling for less. Correct. And it's going to because increase. it's your so time you and energy. To make that yeah. move, mm-hmm. you're going to want to do it soon because prices that, are going oh, up. Can I afford it? Question is going to be a little bit heavier next time. Yeah. But right now, and I just yesterday, uh, if you if you are having a little bit of doubt, which a lot of people are, and that, that's why this was inspired so soon, right before this, and literally I did because I I told you about it yesterday in my live stream mm-hmm. and evolve and emerge. So for now, book a call with me. Let's spend fifteen minutes, and I'm going to work on you energetically. For those 15 minutes and help help to shift some things and actually i had one client this morning that had one of these sessions it was almost impromptu and she's the one who posted in evolve and emerge nice she had had very nice movement from that 
you can ask her about it directly in the post. So you ask her what she experienced, and I'm sure she'd be happy to to expand on that. But if you if you have any doubts, let me help. Kabash. <laughs> yeah, love- exactly. Ask the questions. Yeah. But hence, that's what the call is for too. Is so you can answer any questions or concerns and work through like what are the thoughts. It's beautiful. Get me evolve out. and emerge right evolve and emerge that's the name of the the facebook group since it didn't successfully go to the face into the private group and this mm-hmm. is going to the timeline if you're watching this on my timeline thank you so much especially since we're at over 45 minutes now in the end of the recording thank you so much for taking the time out, out of your out of your evening or day or whenever you're watching this replay but that's the name of the group evolve and emerge Search it up on Facebook. Look for that Phoenix in the in the picture. Can't miss it. Yeah. <laughs> and just request it's to fantastic. join if you're, all, if you're not already a member. So to any of you that missed the beginning of this, you're going to want to go back and watch that. <laughs> We're fired up and passionate. And oh, yeah. we really had to burst through like the Kool-Aid man of like, finally, <laughs> here we are. Like enough <laughs> energy. We're doing this. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's, so, it's so crazy because the way that this started was a little bit like how a lot of lives, when I'm going going on live by myself, I go through these jitters of, okay, should I press it now? Am I ready to go now? Am I ready? And, <laughs> and my friends are like, would you just shut up and press go? <laughs> Which I did in your like, group. I'm on. like, hi, everybody. I am here. We're just figuring it out. They're probably <laughs> like, who is this? <laughs> and any other time when I'm yeah, when any other time I'm going live, it, it, there's that yeah little feeling, and mm-hmm. it reaches to the end eventually. Yes, that little ripple that you send out of panic or fear, it does. It finds its way to come back to you. Yep, that's it. Exactly. Get because to it. Are, yeah, or that little drop in the water that creates the ripples. Exactly. Completely. Completely. So I think that's where we were talking, wanted to come in and share exactly how your thoughts and vibrations are really creating your life. And we're here to help you master that. And this is where I wanted to hear what your program consists of because it's a steal for the amount of guidance that you give and bring to up-level people. It's the name of the game. It's fantastic. It's amazing. So I hope everybody jumps in there. It's like, let's go. You ready to shift, right? And it's part of the investment in oneself. You get so much out of it because when I'm hiring, I'm hiring coaches myself. And man, I twitch when I'm signing those contracts because they are big money. They're almost the cost of my car. You know what I mean? So But it's because it terrifies me and I'm like, "Mm, I need that. I can feel it. I need it. But I still twitch. But every single time I lay down big money like that, I am so thankful that I did. Because there's a growth and there is an up level and there's new, just new everything, new programs, new people. And it's exhilarating to be of service to other people. I love what I do. But I also love giving up the reins and being coached as well, too. So I like to put myself in that platform. So I hope everybody signs in with you because it's just, it's so worth it. And it's amazing. It's powerful. It's powerful. It's really powerful. Really is. So it's awesome. So I hope everybody's hitting you up and saying, I need to know more. It's go time, peeps. Oh, to find me. It's really easy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't hide. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Message Open for question. YouTube. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I got all these other, other all these places. Easy Before we wrap up, I know I'm watching the comments here. Does anybody have any questions before we jump off for the evening? And there's only about a 10 second lag. So I figured. So it's like moving. if nobody's answering, we'll start to wind down. But if anybody has any questions for either of us, if not, 
I don't really see any. I am curious as to, and I'll ask her this off, but we had somebody saying he had me at throat. I, I'm laughing. I know I was looking at that too, <laughs> which is perfect, right? And I like to do the throat punch energetically. So you never know. But like, yeah, if you're going in for that, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay, so question. So Terry coming up with don't know how to please my mom. Okay, you need to go into Micah's program. Um, that is more of a personal question energetically that needs to be guided through on that. So let me, let me, and she's joking with that. Let me be a little bit more specific. What do you think about his program? And what questions might you have around that energetically? Oh, and she's Carrie, not, it's not, she doesn't know how to please it. She doesn't know how to phrase it. It's mm -hmm. literally my mom. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Right. See, and I pick up on it because yeah. So there's mom energies in there. So all of this stuff that you or I do, but in your program, I know that you're going to touch on this, right? is we have genetical, like the generational pieces going back and the mother lineage is a huge one, right? So it affects our day-to-day -day life, both sides. So you and I are gonna talk cause I'm gonna teach you a couple more things about clearing out generational patterns back about five generations because that will, that will definitely, definitely help you with that. Oh, so. I think that she's asking how to basically shield. I do know a little bit of background to the question. I won't divulge much, right. but I right. will say that it's, it's a matter of shielding. Gotcha. So I think that that was the question. Oh, um, oh okay. Wait a minute. Uh, she's Thank you for the clarification, Terry. So, all right. Dementia energy. Okay. I've been there with my own mother. So, oof. Okay. So. This is where you're going to need to go, Terry, into your heart space, because it, it's that's not easy to then become like the grown up to your own mother, who is like not fully functioning on this earth plane. And it can be energetically draining. So stay in your heart space, my love, is what I'm going to tell you with that. So Micah can guide you further on the frequencies and how to maneuver because I did go through this with my mother and Karen would show up at the hospital for me it, it's rough and yeah. if I had known then what I know now oof yeah I would have gone a little easier on that so because I didn't have the help I didn't have a coach I didn't have anybody to teach me this of what you and I know and how you and I operate with people of understanding the patterns of what you can grow through in this process, what you can heal within yourself as she's dealing with dementia. There's so much in there that it's a beautiful time and it helps to have you not feel overwhelmed so you can process through that because it's a, it's a journey. It's a powerful one. It's a big one. Awesome. Thank yeah, you guys. Hello being here thank you for having me as a guest oh thank you for joining I, i've been you we talked about it last week with everything going on and i was just like yes we this is so perfect yeah um, i i hope that everyone has who's been watching and will watch has enjoyed the energy that we've shared and, and the space that we've shared here on facebook and this live and it's just been Oh, blessing. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. This is, it's, it's amazing. And I love collaborating because there's power in numbers and, and we're really, you know, we're here to rise everybody. We're here to empower everybody. We're here to guide everybody back to their authentic self. It's powerful. It's powerful work. Everybody just has to be ready. They want to, they want to jump. Because otherwise the universe is going to come up and go and push it. So trust me. <laughs> so, 
take the easy route. I'm telling you, you're given an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and just as a interesting tag on all of this, I was I was just amped up. And if you've made it this far in this in watching this live and watching this replay, you absolutely deserve to receive the energies that I'm sending out as I'm talking right now. Yes. They they are 100% all you, all for you. All you have to do is consent quietly in your mind to receive them. And there you go. Imagine where they're going. Imagine what needs to work on. Bring that energy directly to that spot. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. Let it gather up. Pause. Let it go. Beautiful. Wrap. So. I felt you. that. Yes. That's beautiful. I'm sure everybody felt that. That's so. powerful stuff. So on this rainy evening, take a breath, relax, because right here, right now in this moment, we are safe. We are home. We can cuddle. And it's been a day well done through some chaos. I felt like I was on a football field. So snuggle up, enjoy the rain, yep. and just be wonderful. Enjoy, relax. I tell everybody to relax for the day. Today's over. We did a great job. And just be. Don't go into overthinking. Be and feel. Absolutely. It's been wonderful. Yes, thank you. And We'll it's been fun, soon. my friend. We will chat soon. Good luck. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. I love you, everyone. Love Don't you guys. Make it a great day and keep going. Got it. <laughs>